a happening place. Almost every weekend we have a, a festive activity, hundreds of people on the streets downtown, walking around, enjoying different pubs and going to different music venues. Being a Midwesterner and looking at mountains, one cannot help but fall in love with this great town and this great surroundings. And the town itself was, was, was a sleepy little place down in Biltmore Village and was just starting to come alive with many of the old buildings being fixed up. And there was a building across the street that was somewhat empty and I bought the building with no money down, literally. And that was the first location for New Morning Gallery. That's where we started back in 1972. And then the bank started liking me and giving me loans and I started to build my little empire. Blue Spiral One, New Morning Gallery of Bellagio, Art to Wear of Bellagio Every Day, and the Fine Arts Theater. Understanding the craftsmanship of this area was the key to my success. We have so much uh, local talent in this country that you can buy really exquisite things. The New Morning Gallery is called Art for Living. And that phrase has been the touchstone for our, our creativity there and finding things that people use in their homes from mugs to jewelry, to earrings, to dinnerware sets, to furniture. The, the man who looks like my uncle will come in with dirt on his boots and buy pottery. And that doesn't happen everywhere in this country. I think this area has a rich history and heritage that affords collectors, uh, object makers, to come together and, and celebrate the handmade. Here at Blue Spiral, it's a very large gallery. If they come once, they'll come back because there's a lot of things to look at, a lot of choice and a lot of activity. We do have a lot of craft in here, but it often uh, borderlines on art. It becomes sculptural or expensive, <laughs> perhaps. Blue Spiral One has been very instrumental in building Nashville's economy. And that's because this was a pretty sad place. A couple blocks down the street was the Rogers Plumbing Building, and they used to have toilets in the window. And this was this toilets on parade, I called it. Not much of Asheville was, was, was really happening, and we were 90% empty on this street. And now it's just bustling and full of people and life, and that all kind of started with when we came down here, and then the next person, the next person came along, and then we added the theater, and then I added another uh, women's clothing store, Bellagio, every day. The Fine Arts Theater ran pornography for years. It was for sale, and I had just finished building Blue Spiral, and it's right next door. I heard about someone wanting to destroy the theater, turn it into a dance hall, bought it, let it sit for a couple of years. And then finally, when Asheville started coming along, I was exploring the idea of opening an art movie house. Asheville is like a gem, surrounded by the setting of the mountains. I thought about, well, why don't we have a craft fair and give people another venue? Because there weren't many of those going on. That was 1973. The 41st year was this last year. Now, it seems like 10,000 people show up. After moving to Asheville, I started having garden spaces in places I rented, and then I finally own a tremendous garden. It's the aesthetics of gardening and looking at nature that I relate to, and I could see that in art, and I see that in nature. There was 35 acres on the edge of Asheville's downtown that was for sale. Wouldn't this make a beautiful park someday? We scratched around and we raised $500,000 within three weeks, asking the county to step up with a, a half a million and the city to step up with a half a million. And then we added all that up and we got a couple grants. We were able to secure this land for tomorrow. The quote that I find most apropos for my life is by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And every cockamamie idea I've had Every renovation, which there's been at least a dozen, dozen and a half, whether big or small, has always been, I believe in it. I believe that this is the best way to go.